set up to try and find the convicted felon. Coachella police sent to the 49,000 block of Harrison Street about 11.30 this morning. It's believed that police spotted Esparza driving a black Lexus. He led police on a short chase to Tokwitz Avenue and Sungold Street in Indio. Apparently there, crashed his car and took off running. That's where we find KPSP Local 2 reporter David Wall. David, you were first on the scene for the reporters. What's the latest on the hunt for Angel Esparza tonight? Yeah, Chris, we were here just minutes after the pursuit ended. It ended because Esparza's car crashed into the curb here, shattering one of the wheels. In fact, this is the only thing left of that wheel, a chunk of the wheel. Esparza then leapt from the vehicle, ran into this surrounding neighborhood, and as of this hour, he's still a fugitive. 16-year-old kid, and um, it's it, disturbing, disturbing to say the least. Mike, who didn't want his last name revealed, says he understands why Angel Esparza is so desperate to remain on the run after he allegedly gunned down a 16-year-old boy in front of the Coachella Boys and Girls Club last week. Mike witnessed a man who authorities identified as Esparza run away after a brief pursuit ended in a crash. Uh, vehicle turned turn the corner here, and when it lost its will, the uh, person jumped off a car and went and went behind a, a house, and, and from there I just seen five, six, maybe even seven uh, uh, unmarked uh, um, police officer uh, cop cars. From there, was, I mean, it just, just went, it's the whole neighborhood just to shut down. Neighbors were worried that a desperate fugitive might have taken refuge on their property. I went inside and I told my roommate to get out of the house, and then I went in the backyard and, and check all, all the, to check the back, the backyard and the, and the, and all the rooms and everything. Authorities tell us this young man right here under arrest was driving the vehicle. Esparza was a passenger. A brief pursuit ensued. The vehicle crashed and Esparza took off. We had a few questions for yet another passenger who was in the car involved in the pursuit. Hey, my friend, do you know where Angel is? you know where Angel is? Hold on. Okay. No idea where Angel Esparza is? He's wanted for killing a boy in Coachella. Did you know that? He apparently wasn't willing to help us find his buddy. Now, there was at least one school on lockdown during this uh, pursuit and this investigation. Authorities are advising everybody in this area of India, in the area of Monroe and Takwitz, to uh, make sure you don't let anybody you don't know into your house, obviously. If you do know where Aspars is, 341-STOP, 341-7867. Up to $1,000 could come your way from Valley Crime Stoppers. Guys, live in Indio, David Wall, KPSB, Local 2 News. And David, it looks like we saw some representatives from state parole out there. What does that tell us about Esparza and his criminal history? Yeah, yeah, Bert, apparently he was on parole, is on parole from a prior violent juvenile conviction. So they are looking for him. RSO, Riverside Sheriffs, are looking for him, as well as Indio Police. So it's going to be tough for him to remain on the run very long. David Wall, live tonight. Thank you very much. A gruesome discovery today in Blythe, a human...